How are you? Nice to see you. I'm good, thank you. Um, I gotta know, do blondes have I'm more fun? I'm having a great fun? time. They have so much fun. <laughs> Highly recommend it. To be named an official Disney legend, obviously I know that you're legendary. What does it mean to you and how do you feel like Enchanted and Grey's Anatomy changed your life? Well, I've had several films with, you know, it started very early on. My first big job out here was a Disney movie of the week called The Fighting Choice. Yeah. And then Can't Buy Me Love. You uh, can forget. <laughs> that that was a big turning point for me. And then, of course, then uh, Grey's Anatomy and Enchanted. Mm -hmm. um, Brother Bear. So there's been a lot of movies. That he, I really forgot that there were so many that had to do with Disney. So I'm very grateful to be working, you know, and yeah. to, to be seen and to be you know, honored in this way is very humbling and I'm grateful for it. You know, I just talked to Ellen and for you guys to really share this moment together. What does that mean? She told me she would love to work with you again. I'd love to work with her again. A couple ideas of how I like to work with her and what type of material uh, would be fun. And you have ideas? Sure. What what are they? You got to tell, tell her first, and then we'll see if we can realize them. But no, I mean it's it's been it's always been a really special relationship Ellen and I have had together in front of the screen and um, and behind it as well. I remember the first time I met her, she had a Boston accent, and then I'm from Maine originally, so it was very endearing, yeah. and we had that connection right away. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of the success of the show is because of the chemistry and the relationship, and people want to believe in love and, 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 and all of that. And I meet people around the world who were wishing we were actually really together. But she's got Christopher and I have Jillian, and, uh, and they're, they're understanding. incredible people. So we're fortunate to have them with us. Yeah. I also got to ask you about Enchanted. We're getting the Disenchanted sequel we've been waiting for for so long, 15 years after the original came out. What took so long and why was now the time? It just, well, I guess everything happens in its own time. Uh, it was funny because I didn't, the boys weren't born then and now they're 15, soon to be 16. And we couldn't believe how much time had gone by. And, you know, that was at the really beginning of Amy's career. And yeah. it really catapulted her into superstardom after that performance. Um, so we talked about that, and it was just great to see everybody, you know, and to be together again. And we had a magical place to shoot, which was Ireland. How fun is that? It was great. I wish it wasn't locked down, yeah. and we didn't have to get <laughs> tested all the time for COVID and wear masks, but we had a great time, and the countryside was beautiful. Can you kind of tease where the story is going this time around? I mean, are you guys still, are you a prince still? Like, what's going on? It turns everything upside down, let's just say that. Okay. I also have to know, is the blonde hair for Ferrari? I'm so yes. excited about that movie. Okay. Yes, uh, Adam Driver is playing Ferrari. Yep. Uh, Michael Mann is directing. It is the most fun I've ever had on a film. At Penelope Cruz is Pen also? Pen 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 Penelope Cruz is in it as well. <laughs> uh, and I get to play a race car driver in the 1950s, so it's my dream role. I was just going to say, were you born to play this role? We all know about your love of cars. Uh, I really wanted this role, so I went after it. You know, Michael has been trying to make this move for over 25 years, so to finally see him realizing that dream and to see Adam playing Ferrari is uh, amazing. He really has captured his essence profoundly. You've done so much in your career, and in the spirit of legend, what else is on your bucket list? Like, what else do you want to do? Like, you have a family, you've had hit TV shows, major movies. I just want to continue to work and to work with people that inspire me and to do roles that are challenging. Okay. Um, really quick before I let you go, we lost the Queen this week, yes. a really devastating story. What did you admire most about her? Well, I think anyone who has been through that much in her life and has had to lead her people over 70 years, and she's a human being on top of that and the struggles that she has gone through. Uh, it is a sad time for everyone in the world right now. That type of leadership is needed. We look at what's happening in, in politics and the, the rise of authoritarianism around the world. It's really quite scary. Um, so it is an end of an era and the future is unknown. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.